First up, you want to fill your milk pitcher up about a third of the way full. Now I'm going to talk you through the two phases in texturing your milk. Firstly, the aeration phase, which is incorporating air into your milk. And then we go up the whirlpool motion phase, which is how you texture the milk. So you get your steam wand to be positioned slightly off center. Um, I use a spout to kind of hold it stable and tilt it like so. But as long as the steam wand is slightly off center, it doesn't really matter how you hold it. Um, just hold it however is most comfortable for you. Once you've got that sweet spot nailed, you can go ahead and put the tip of the steam wand in just below the surface of the milk. You'll turn the steam wand on and get that ripping paper and ice, which is the first phase of texturing the milk. Now you want to lift that milk pitcher up and get that steam wand immersed in the milk. Keep that whirlpool motion on the go and this textures the milk beautifully. If you get a nasty kind of screeching noise, it just means that the steam wand is too deep in the milk. And then if you get loads of bubbling and it's going mental, then the steam wand tip is too close to the surface. Once the pitcher is too hot to touch, you know your milk's ready. If you've got any bubbles in your milk that you're wanting to get rid of, you can just give the pitcher a swirl and a tap and that should take care of it. You know you've nailed your microfoam if it's looking like white glossy paint. It'll have a real nice shine to it and then when you start pouring your latte art, it just pours really smoothly and it's got that really nice contrast there which you can see now. One more thing I'll say is persistence is key. It's very difficult to get milk texture right first time, so it might take a little bit of a while getting used to it and figuring out what works out well for you, but if you keep at it, you'll get there in the end. Thanks for watching, and if you need any more help with milk texturing or if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a message.